Hail, hey, intrepid viewers, and welcome back. Today we are playing Kathy Rain, a detective is born. I don't think this game is RPG Maker. Actually, it's clearly not. I don't know why I thought it might have been. It's just a pixel arty point and click adventure hey, mystery. Ooh, it's all voice uh, acted too. Hey. I'm normally not a fan, uh, but currently you might hear my voice is a little off. Oh man. Oh man. This is like a, this is a weird reticle. Should I be reacting to her? No, I think just watch this happen. Oh god, this is so comfy. Is that your I'm bed or not? I'm just lie here and suffocate on my own vomit now. Is it suffocating in your own vomit or is it drowning? Uh, I had a thing I wanted to tell you. Uh-huh. I think this it's suffocating. This sure looks different when it's spinning. So, I was browsing through the used book ads in the paper when I... Listen, Eileen, I'm totally excited about books right now, but... Wait, hear me out! So, I noticed this article about a war veteran from Conwell Springs who just died. I remembered that you used to live Gruesome. there and everything, and... Oh, how I wish for joyful, blissful sleep. A and get this! His name was Joseph. Joseph Rain. What did you just say? Should have been listening. Him, right? I'm not gonna myself. I knew it. I knew you'd know him. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. I haven't seen him since I was a kid, a I lifetime ago. No, nope, guess I don't need to read it at a all. A lifetime ago. A lifetime. I'm a very old person. Wait a minute. I never told you where I grew up. Oh well, I uh, well, I might have sort of looked you up. That is not cool, Eileen. Seriously, I just couldn't help myself. Well, one of these days, you're going to help yourself to a restraining order. I'm just telling you this as a friend. I know. Well, anyway, you should know that the funeral is tomorrow. Okay. Are you going to go? I don't know. Good night, Eileen. Good night, Eileen. Good night. Good night, Eileen. <laughs> So good at singing. Especially words. Words. I sing words. I know the songs too. September 25th, 1995. Day one. Does that mean it's going to be a time limit? Oh Where is it? Oh god, make it stop. Ooh, she's talking to me. I will make it stop because I am god. Or I'll make you make it stop like a real god. Turn off the alarm clock. If I wait long enough, will something happen? Will people burst in and say like what's Eileen wrong? Left a note for me here. Hi, Kat. Since it's such a long drive, I set the alarm so you won't miss the funeral. Thank me later. E. Slash E. I'm so getting a new roommate. Yeah, I just... Well, I guess I should get going. I'm late enough as it is. What do I got? I got a notebook. I got a stun gun. I got a Zippo lighter. This game brought to you by Zippo, and a pack of cigarettes. This game also brought to you by Kransha. Super fancy, apparently. A fact which Eileen loves to remind me She's of. She's so fancy. I'm no geek, but I know how to use one. What was that option? A Think computer, about computer? That is. Not a geek. Yes, yes, yes. I believe you. Think about computer. Wow. Eileen borrowed it from school. She takes a bunch of computer classes. Oh, this is 95. Okay, that makes sense. Use phone! But why am I doing this? I'm just doing this because I can. Eh, change my mind. Let's just get out of here. Let's go to the funeral. Let's go have some fun at a funeral. Should I change my clothes? Heck no. Do I have a car? I don't know. Fade. To black. Ooh, I got a motorcycle. Of course I do. Think about graves to the cemetery. Oh, there's a thoughtable at first. What state is this supposed to be? This music reminds me of Thimbleweed Park. Although, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, this game predates Thimbleweed Park. Oh, I thought she was wearing a, um... <sighs> what do you call the hats that are floppy? They're stereotypically French. A beret. I thought she was wearing a beret for a second. Well, you have them. We all do. Guess not. 
Okay, never mind. Dead people rule. Dead people rule. I guess that is a uh, fitting with the rest of your life philosophy that we've seen so far. Just litter it into the sky. Mausoleum, cool, 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 cool. It says rice on it. Let's look at it. it. Says price. I mean price, obviously. Vincent Price's mausoleum. Family so that, that's a mausoleum. terrible impression. The family must have been fairly rich. Those things don't come cheap. I know. I know the price of every single bit of stonemasonry no work that would possibly exist in a graveyard. I mean, no reason to go in there. What an eclectic mix we've got. We are gathered here today. Okay, to I'm not gonna talk over this. Great integrity, a Much. Of the community, and a decorated war hero. His name was Joseph Irving Rain. Jer. Sure. We all remember his warm heart, his compassion, and his eagerness to help others. His passing, while our loss, is surely heaven's gain. Now we entrust our brother Joseph to God's mercy. We commit his body to the ground, earth to earth. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies so they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. He's saying we all turn into Jesus Christ when we die? Amen. Like a weird ditto kind of a thing going on? I'm not familiar with that part of the funeral, uh, boilerplate speech stuff. You. Dance, Miss Rain. Blah, blah. Ooh, that mouth is gross looking. Mary Elizabeth Rain, my grandmother on my father's side. Okay. Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Rain? I don't call my grandma Mrs. Anything. You look strangely oh, familiar. I guess if you've never it's met. Me. It's Catherine. Catherine. Catherine has one of the biggest you don't recognize me? differences in ways to spell. I, I guess because there's a two letters that each have two options. You remember me. So that's four combinations of Catherine. Yeah, that's more than I see for most other names. Bless my soul. Look at you all grown up. Oh, how I wish Joseph could see you now finally coming home. Let's hope he can. Wherever he is. A comforting thought, dear. Lord, how long has it been? Ten years? Fifteen? Fifteen sounds about right. I was six when Mom took me away. Goodness, we have some catching up to do then. <laughs> I want to know everything. An ad lib little Listen, chuckle. I'm not quite ready to leave yet, but why don't you join me at the house in half an hour? Sure, I'd love to. I passed it on my way here. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I'll see you soon then. I'm so glad you found your way back home. I can't wait for us to have a chance to talk. I mean, it sounds like I could have come here. home at literally any time. Finding this place was not a challenge. Am I going to see something mysterious? There's someone in the mausoleum. There's eyes. I don't, no, I don't want to talk to you. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, shut up. Thanks. Oh, shut up. If you wish to uh. God, the Church of the Holy Trinity is always open to you. Is that so? Here, have a brochure. Hmm. <laughs> to turn away from the path of sin. Mm. Can I just ignore him? I don't want this sort of psychological abuse. Uh, whatever. And what makes you so sure I'm on a sinful path, Father? Wouldn't you say that prejudice is but a small step from the seven big ones? I simply meant that we are all sinful creatures, child. No, you didn't. I hope to see you at the church. That was clearly directed at me right. specifically. I'll pray for you. Yeah, I'll pray for you. This time of grief. I wish you comfort in this time of grief, but not so much comfort that I'm not willing to push my own agenda on you. I don't mean this episode to be like a religion bashing thing, but this game's really setting up the pins. I'm just knocking them down. Or am I even knocking them down? I don't know, I'm nudging them slightly. Here. Go to the couch. The the rain residence. If you rearrange the words of price, they say rain. Grandma, anybody home? Did it take me 30 minutes to get here? How did Granny beat me home? 
Ooh, raining in a motorcycle. Not a good combo. We got boots. We got coats. Multiple coats. We got window. Red horse. I want the horse. Think about fresh. it. Grandma must have had this restored recently. What a worthwhile expenditure of money that a was. Mere single pair of boots on display. So I don't even have an option for those boots. Nice black leather coat. Right up my alley. Take it. Nice black leather coat. I clicked right on the brown alley. one. Huh. Never seen this around. Grandpa must have used it towards the end. Must have. An old wheelchair. Not too dusty. Probably used recently. Probably. I don't deal with facts. I just deal with weird random suppositions based on my own sorts of internal intuitions. I'm a detective. A small table lamp. Small, judgy. These should come in handy when I need to make calls. Take them. Church brochure. I should have tased the guy. Photo, photo Some painting. Kind of winter forest scene. I've always wondered if it's supposed to be Conwell Woods or not. It's not. Uh, I got upstairs. I got the living room door. You know, the living room is the room that ghosts hate the most. Ah. Oh, hello, dear. Hello. I was just wondering what took you so long. Oh, thanks. Sorry, I couldn't resist taking that old wheelchair for a spin. That's not funny. Oh, don't give me that look. I put it back. You haven't changed one bit. Since you were six. Always kidding around, just like when you were little. Come have a seat. We have so much to talk about. Saunter, saunter, sit. So, now, tell me about your life in the city. Oh, there's not much to tell. I'm going to school for journalism. It's my second year. I ride a motorcycle in case you missed it there out front. Ah, oh, that's right. I'll steal wheelchairs for Just fun. Like your father. Yeah, I suppose. I must ask, have you heard anything from your father? Anything at all? Is he lost in a shadow no, dimension? Nothing since he bailed way back then. Expected as much. He disappeared without a trace. No matter, that's ancient history. How Sharon then? Is that my mom? Uh, I'll tell the truth. I apparently had her committed to a mental institution. Is, uh, I had her committed to a place where she could get some real help. I just couldn't take it anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. In spite of everything she looks like the actress who played Frau Bluch. Yeah, about that. I'm sorry I didn't visit sooner, Grandma. Mom, she told me all these horrible lies about you and Grandpa. When I was old enough to understand what she was doing, I felt like it was much too late. It wasn't your fault, dear. You were a child. I'm just happy that you're here now. Me too. So, what about you? How have you been doing all these years? I've been lonely ever since the accident. There's no doubt. What accident? What accident? Hey. Goodness gracious. Of course you don't know. Goodness she took you away gracious. All happened. Don't know what? About I the accident. I'll never forget that dreadful day. August 16th, 1981. 14 years ago. When Sheriff Truman knocked on our door. He had Joseph with him. I couldn't even recognize Joseph at first. All dirty and wet with an awful blank stare on his face. Actually, like his soul had been I don't know if this game is supernatural or not. I'm that day, thinking, yeah. Spoke a word, forever confined oh, jeez Louise. 14 really? years he never All spoke? Time, That's bananas. I no idea. It came as a shock to Horrible, Grandma. I'm so sorry. Thank you, dear. Incident in 81. Why do you think Grandpa suddenly left that night in 81? I haven't the faintest idea. Left? He acted very peculiar. You mean just was out? Before it happened, disappearing for hours at a time. At first, I even suspected he was having an affair. When I asked him about it, he just said he was chasing old demons. Must have had something to do with the war. Must have. What do the doctors have to say about Grandpa's condition? Persistent vegetative state. Real specific. I've heard it all by now. 
One doctor said it was a stroke. Another claimed it was a seizure. The third hack tried to sell it off as a severe infection. It's all a load of tripe. I had an MRI performed on Joseph. It's one of those state-of-the-art head scans. Yeah, I've heard of them. Yes, well, according to the scan, his brain was completely intact. They thought it was a technical problem at the time. Some to kind be of glitch. in pieces. But the oh. result was the same after three different scans. It was fused into one brain. Eventually, they had to confess that they simply had no credible explanation oh, no. for the okay. <laughs> I'm jumping to hmm. nonsense this conclusions. This just happened to occur on the this very same also looks like a Nazi eagle. Indeed. I refuse to believe it was a coincidence. What did Sheriff Truman have to say about the matter? Not much. He said they simply found Joseph in that condition on the outskirts of town. The sheriff was convinced there was some kind of foul play involved, but the investigation turned up nothing. He later said that he was sorry, but that he was forced to close the case. So what did you want to talk about, Grandma? Because you said we had a lot to discuss, and you forgot I didn't know about this accident. So clearly you had some other item you wanted to talk about. I'd like to get to that, Maybe just out of curiosity. If this would slip your mind in lieu of weakness. that. I don't know, dear. I, I'm just speculating. I didn't think too much of it at the time. Joseph was a man of few words. I'm sure he just didn't wish to burden me with it. Oh, he didn't speak it about it or he didn't speak at all? He didn't speak at all. Okay, he didn't speak at all. You're welcome to try, dear. About the Some war? Kind of or about... mean the world to me. Okay, I think I'll head over to the sheriff station for a little chat then. I like the pacing nice of this game so far. Some actual police service for once. Moving to different locations pretty sure, rapidly. Let me know Should I wait for it to stop raining? New location added. I have nothing else to Bye, talk Grandma. to you about. I'll be back later. I'm sure you'll so just long. be here exactly the same. Ooh, a sideboard full of alcohol. Grandpa in his Air Force uniform looks to be in his early 20s. Can I double click? I cannot double click. I get to watch her. Oh, oh, it does reset her walk animation though. Haha. <laughs> Crap. Maybe it's an option I can select later. In between episodes. I'm gonna say, oh no, it's raining. I changed my mind. I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, yeah. Live big. Live wet. And it's not gonna be raining, is it? It's gonna be like, oh, it's, hey, it's sunny. Oh, it's raining. Cool. Good consistency. Tell the sheriff stashing. Ooh, look at that cowlick. Young cop. Judgy ages. Some young cop looks a bit familiar. Does he? Why? Hi. Hello. <laughs> Do I have to commit a crime to get your attention? Because I seriously will. Ma'am, I'm really quite busy at the moment. Clearly. Hey, wait. I know you. Don't hit on me. I'm pretty sure you don't. Yes, I do. You're Kathy. Kathy Rain. Yes, Kathy Kathy Rain. That's my, my name. Reputation precedes me in a kind of but not totally creepy way. Oh, but come on. Clearly totally. Lenny. Lenny Marks. Okay, Lenny Lenny Marks. I'm drawing a blank. Really? You don't remember us playing when we were little kids? Not really. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Darn. Well, that's a bummer. Anyway, what can I do for you today? I'm over it already. Not a problem. I guess I'll talk to you about this random thing I have. I wanted to ask if you know anything about my grandfather's accident. I really don't know much beyond the rumors. It's before I was born. The sheriff may have more information, but even he probably doesn't know anything that isn't in the report. It happened before either of us worked here. Uh -huh. Okay, I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff then. Sure thing. His office is to your this right. This is that easy to get sheriff time. Maybe this is a small town. Well, gotta go. See ya. See ya. We not want to be ya. Ah, Sheriff Pork Vacuum. That must be the sheriff. He looks great. I can hear you. I don't know how many of these items Hello, I should sheriff. be examining Do on the you side. Have a moment? Not really. Make it quick. Okay. Do you know what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? He had a stroke. No, that was quick. 
Whoa, off the top exactly of his head, too. Is. Crazy. Why would Sheriff Truman open an investigation? It was just standard procedure. A general occurrence report always has to be filed. I see. Did you know him at all? No, I haven't been in town for long. Man sure has one hell of a reputation, though. It's been over a decade since he was put in that wheelchair, and people still talk about the man he used to be. It's like he was a cult leader or something. Mm. Sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Not really. But you know what they say, things too good to be true usually are. Why would him being a cult be too good to be true? Could I have a look at that report? Absolutely not. They're official police documents. Why not? I thought filed police reports are public <laughs> I was going to say. Not in this state, they ain't. Oh, and which state is that? But I'm family. Doesn't that count for something? You consider yourself family? I've never even seen you before in this town. Oh, yeah, you get to it's choose who's family. I forgot sheriffs have that power. Not to mention illegal. It's He's so harassing. whiny sounding. Lenny. Risk your job Lenny, to help a lady. Help Don't you agree that he's taking by the book too far? Well, uh, boss, she is his granddaughter, really. Oh, I man. I'm using my feminine wiles. There are rules. Am I the only one in here who cares about the law? Love. Too much coffee? Try not to pop a vein. His teeth are so you clenched. Want to see the inside of a cell? Uh, sure, I'll oh, take a tour. Cuff me, officer. Spare me the torment of your rhetorical questions and veiled threats. Just follow the rules like everyone else. I've had enough of this nonsense. Everyone else? Fine. I don't think everyone else follows the rules. What's this photo? photo? I can't see it clearly from okay, here. Okay, I'll move over there. Just walk over there. Can you see it now? Just some photo. I can't see it clearly uh, from here. Can I get closer? Nope, that's a chair. Hello, Sheriff. My oh, I didn't want to talk to him. I just wanted to sit in the chair. That's all for now. Good. Oh. A photo of the sheriff. Probably the mayor. Yeah, this is dumb. Oh, let's go talk to Ooh, files. I would, but I can't do that when he's right there. Mm. Maybe I can distract him somehow. Oh, okay. Let's work on that for the next episode. This was episode one of Kathy Rain. Let me know, guys, what think. Let me know what y'all think about this game so far. And thank you so much for watching. Hey, I'll What's the deal with that see you what in the next. The one in the cell. Episode. Well, they're talking about a bum. Since your catchphrase.